All right, today what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at a simple robot design you guys built last week, but we're going to use Lego Digital Designer because Lego Digital Designer, this program right here, allows us to customize and add on to a robot without physically changing the robot. The reason why this is important is because if you have an idea you want to explain to your group members about something, you want to show them or explain it to them, you can use Digital Tool Designer to do this. Um, so we're going to practice by building this simple robot, and we're going to do this step by step. And so um, you're going to need a, a beam, and the one in the back is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So it's, this beam is 11, and you're going to need two of those, two motors, and the square block, and four of the black pegs. So I'm going to try to keep this in memory, but you can always you know, come back to it. So we're going to do this, uh, the Mindstorms kit, and we're going to do a new kit. And in here, under um, Filter by Kits, this tab right here, you can select all the Mindstorms kits. And we have the uh, Mindstorms EV3, Education EV3 and the Education Expansion kits. Um, so the, the motors, they label as engines in here. Um, and if I... They should be near the top. And so I'm going to try looking at it again. And I'm not seeing the first number in um, engine. It's going to type it in. And if I click here, here's the, here's the motor. So, and if you, one more thing, when you first drag in your pieces, you can use the arrow keys to change the position um, or how it's how you're looking at it. So I'm going to go ahead and and I'm not going to try to get it in the perfect place. I'm just simply trying to get it there and I'm going to come back so I can see all of the parts. Um, some things get a little bit tricky to see, and so you'll have to go down slow and up, up and down slowly to find them. Um, so I am looking for oh here are the motors right here and. We're looking for the black connector pins, and there it is. And it was, so when I look at it, I do that kind of quick. But I'm looking at the position. If it wasn't orbited correctly, I would use the arrow keys to change it. And you can also press Command C, Command V to paste or make a copy of them. And this we're not ready to use, but we'll be using it in a little bit. And I think I actually put those pegs in the wrong place. They shouldn't have gone down there. They should have gone up here. So I'm going to put those in the correct place. You guys probably saw that in the video and you're like, why is Mr. Fetterman doing that? Okay, now I can move this up and it should connect into it. This motor, ooh, it didn't go together. I'm gonna press escape for a second. I'm gonna click and drag. So I make sure I select everything. I just kind of like, for some reason it's not grabbing those pins. So maybe I'm gonna do this. Um, I want that pin to go here. This pin to go there. And I want this motor to go there. Oops. Click off of it. Now I can uh, use two fingers to click and hold and drag and rotate. And those two pins can simply go away. And I'm pressing the, the D key on the keyboard, which is the delete button, this one up here. I'm going to orbit around to the back. And Take those out. And so now we need a beam on 11. And there's a 7, there's a 9, there's 11. I'm going to put it right here, but I need the pins in the back. So I need to go to the connectors. Oops. Here it is. And see how that one's facing the wrong way? So I'm just going to use my arrow keys.
And don't be afraid to orbit or zoom or to get a better view if you can't see something. Okay, now this is on. All right, so let's let's take a look back here. I went ahead and mine looks like this now. And so now I'm going to assemble this wheel. So this one's kind of tricky because you don't want, sometimes when we built it, we put the parts into here and then you put this onto here. And so this little center part is a little bit tricky. Um, and that's the one that has an, an axle to an axle connector. And um, the wheel is, we'll get to that as well. So let's come back to the tutorial. We're going to simply give us some space. I'm going to try to start out with finding that this piece, getting it positioned, and now I'm going to find the pieces I need. So I need this. This is going to go on the top in the center. And I think I gotta switch to the other pack. There it is. Okay, so now I got it positioned correctly. I'm gonna put it up here. And that piece, by the way, is called, so you guys could type it in up here. Um, that piece is called a catch. So now I need to come back and find the two little black H pieces. And module bush is what they call it. We need one on each side. There we go. So now this unit is ready to go to where we can slide this into here and place it. Okay, so that's how you do that and the ball wheel. I have not seen it in the kit but I'm sure it's here. I just need to get the right pivot wheel. Oh, things coming up. So we'll look for the ball wheel. Sorry, I don't have the precise name for it. It is in. I'm not even seeing it in here, but I do know the the part exists. I just need to get the right name so you guys can type it in. So we'll skip that part for right now. And so, what we're gonna do right now is you guys can work on assembling the tires, the tires need to go onto a rim. So if you bring this in, that one looks huge. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it out and tire, whoa, that's the other one, really big. Let's keep, okay, that's the right size. And I should have rotated it, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if I can delete this. And, um, and I'm gonna do it right when I first put it in. Find the rim, rotate it, there we go. Uh, now we need an axle, and I think we need a at least a five, or if not longer. I'm just going to go ahead and put it in here. Click. I'm going to put a bushing on it. All the way in as much as I can. Now I'm going to select both the wheel and the tire. So if I have to, hold down the control, hit the plus. And now you can click and 
Oops, gotta make sure I select both of them. And click and move it onto the axle, sliding it in, is, and it'll kind of tell you where it, where it needs to stop at. So, now we're just going to repeat that process uh, one more time. And actually, what you can do is you can click on these Command C, Command V, and sliding it in until it looks right. And make sure you rotate, otherwise, it won't, won't want to go on. And just moving it down close to the part, coming back up here. Nope, oh, wrong tire. And. Yep, that's the right one. Turning it, placing it, finding the rim to go with it. I believe that it was this one. Nope, that does not look like the right size. So coming back to this one. And go ahead and placing it. And placing it inside. And there we go. And is that the right tire? I just want to double check to see that it is. And it is, but it's facing the wrong way. So I'm actually going to undo that, replace it, make sure I rotate it in to, so it places correctly. It's like both of them. And I guess they can be in or out as long as they're both the same on each wheel and sliding it in as far as it will go and clicking. Okay, so there's my wheels. I got my wheels on. So the next thing we got to do is we need to put in some connectors in, in here. Let's take a look at our tutorial. So I'm scrolling down. We're going to build this mechanism right here. This mechanism is going to go underneath and it's a little bit tricky. Um, I'm going to zoom in to here so we can count and see how many, how long the beam is. So it's three, six, seven, eight, nine. So it's a nine beam and the um, this is going to be a double pin, but it has a little mark in the side, so it's going to keep it from going down. And that is going to allow it to go down. This is going to be going down towards the ground, and this part's going to go up to the EV3. Okay. And you can see in here, uh, the blue part is going to extend out this way. So, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the beam that of 9, 9, and here 5, 7, 9, and rotate it so it's the right way, and um, let's see here. So right over that hole is where that blue pin is going to come down through. Okay. So, and I actually told you wrong. The blue pin is going to, the double pin is going to extend upwards. No, it's going to extend downwards. So I'm going to find the blue pin, or the H connectors. There we go. Actually, it's going to come up. Another way to do this is to 
select the part you want to copy, press Command C, Command V, then you can just move it to where it is you want it to go. And there we go. And now this is going to come up onto here. These blue pins are going to be for the EV3. So I'm going to come back. We commonly refer to as brick, but we'll see how they do it. They don't use it as brick. EV3. Or brain. All right, I give up. So I'm going to just come back here to the education and I'm going to select the EV3 brick, which is right here, and I'm going to rotate it, and now I can place it on it. 